what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Former Minnesota State Trooper Albert Kuna has pleaded guilty to unlawfully obtaining the private photos of a 25-year-old woman during an arrest made last year. This week, 34-year-old Kuna pleaded guilty to the non-consensual dissemination of private sexual images, for which he is likely to receive two years of probation. Last March, Kuna detained an unnamed woman who was suspected of driving while intoxicated after a crash near Minneapolis's Cedar Avenue and Interstate 94. While the woman was being examined by medical staff on the scene, Kuna obtained her cell phone and scrolled through her photos without her permission. The uncivilized former state trooper then texted himself three photos of the woman, then deleted the text messages from her phone. Two of the photos showed the woman's exposed breast. Although there was no evidence of the sent text messages on the cell phone itself, the victim's boyfriend discovered the text messages that were sent on a synced Mac laptop and dialed the number that was associated to the sent messages. And dun, 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 discovered that it was our good old, nice, sweet, law-abiding police officer. This guy, Kuna, originally received uh, a felony. He was originally charged with a felony, but because of his plea, he had his uh, sentence reduced. He could have received up to five years because of his plea. He's only talking about a couple years probation or so. And that's it. Another slap on the wrist for the people who are above the law. Slap on the wrist for the law who is above the law. So what do you think would have happened to you or I, fam, had we done something like that? Oh, yeah, they're trying to send us to prison. First time offense. This dude is a sicko. Imagine how much or how many more times he's done something like that. Imagine how much stuff he's gotten away with. They fired him and all of that stuff, but still, that's not enough. He should be in prison. Him and his buddies. Imagine how many, think about what I'm saying, fam. And I do believe most people keep some type of inappropriate pictures in their phones because this happens all the time. So, Imagine how often they detain people and they have access to people's phones. You know, they're going through those phones, just looking, searching. So he finds the, finds the pictures and he's sending these pictures to himself. See, that goes right back to what we always say. A lot of these dudes who are cops, they couldn't get no action in high school and they don't get no action as police officers, unless it's forced. Unless it's forced, unless it's some type of bribery involved, some type of bribery involved, or they're threatening somebody, they're trying to use it, using their authority, their position as leverage to get women to offer them sexual favors and all that stuff, or they just straight up paying for it. That's the only way some of them can get action. This is why they walk around, they ride around so mad. You know, the only difference between many of those types and Jack the Ripper is that Jack the Ripper didn't have a badge and a gun. That's it. A lot of really like weirdos, unfits become police officers. A whole lot of them become police officers because they're socially awkward. They can't feel any power, any substance. They can't feel anything substantial like regular people without having a gun and a badge and get being granted that authority. Otherwise, they gotta go out and build it and use their own character like everybody else does. And most of them are socially awkward. 
They're socially awkward, so they can't. They're, they're incapable of being able to form uh, relationships in the traditional manner, like boy meets girl. Hello, hi, how are you? Take a date, go on dates, uh, pass the test, second dance, and second base. Uh, hey, hey, you can't do all that kind of stuff. Mess their head up. It scrambles their brain. You know, they don't know what to say. What a low life. His mama should be embarrassed and his daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?